everybody, I am Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona. Today we're going to be taking a look at a classic rifle from a classic manufacturer. Day State of England, and the rifle I'm talking about is the Regal XL. This rifle has been introduced to the market a long time ago under the name the Huntsman. But over the years, they've made some small changes internally, and they've now given it the name the Regal XL. And there's not a more fitting name for it because when you look at it, it just kind of has that wow, Regal elegance to it. If we open up the box here, you'll see that you get some paperwork. It comes with everyday state rifle showing the factory checks. You'll get the accessories. We got a quick fill adapter here for putting air in the rifle, a single shot tray if you don't want to use the 10 shot rotary mag, and then of course the 10 shot rotary mag if you're wanting to use multi-shot features on the gun. Now the gun itself, like I said, Regal is the perfect description for this gun because look at that. It is sleek, it is sexy, it is a good looking gun all the way around. And that's all you need this gun to be. It's very classic, the beauty is in the simplicity, and it just has the wow factor on a lot of different fronts. So let me get some of this out of the way here. We went ahead and mounted the Aztec Emerald on top of this rifle, which is subsequently going to be the scope we're using out of the 20 and 50 yard test range. But as you can see in my hand right now with the scope mounted, this is a classic looking rifle. It's sleek, it's small. Without the scope, it weighs just over six pounds. So it's a very easy gun to manage in the field, to have a child shoot or teach a child to shoot on. It's a great platform for really any kind of shooting scenario that I can think of. Starting with some of the features on the gun, You'll notice that the barrel itself is fully shrouded with a nice carbon fiber attachment on the end. That's gonna be to help reduce your initial report, help with keeping it backyard friendly, just quieting the rifle all the way around. Right below the shroud, it has a 162 cc cylinder. It is very low profile and works great with this setup. Granted, you will learn later that you get about 45 shots per fill as well. So for a cylinder size that keeps the gun lightweight, it's incredibly efficient in getting you a lots of shots per fill. And that's not just cylinder size, that'll couple with some of the internal valve components that we're working our way back to. The Daystate Regal XL does come with the Harper patented Daystate valve along with a slingshot hammer system. So those two working together are what really drive the system here. They'll give you a high shot count, like we said, about 45 shots per fill and they'll do it as tight and repeatable as possible. So internally, this gun shoots great. You'll get a nice tight spread. You'll get great accuracy even out at distances 50 plus, but you'll do it all in a package that weighs just over six pounds and is a dream to carry around. The Daystate bolt action system pulls straight back till it clicks. Doing that will also rotate the magazine and fall your, to your next shot if you're using the magazine system. You have a 11 millimeter dovetail rail that's cut right into the breech block. And then on the back, you'll notice you have a manual safety right here. If you put it on the red, it's ready to fire. If you take it off the red, you're now in safe mode. The trigger on the Regal XL is fully adjustable. You'll notice there's some holes cut in your trigger guard down here, and that is for getting the adjustment screws in there. So if you refer to some of that paperwork that came with the gun, it'll talk more in depth about making adjustments and which screws adjust what. The stocks that Daystate uses are very much top of the line. You have a great looking stock, and that's just kind of what brings everything on this together. Sleek, lightweight, and just something really good to look at. It's not hard on the eyes at all. For filling the 162 cc cylinder, you have a nice quick fill cap here that when removed, will show you that it uses a male foster fitting. The gun also comes with the female foster for filling it, so it snaps right on here at the beginning of the cylinder. On the bottom of the stock, you have a pressure gauge that's good for checking in the field if you have enough for one more shot. It's a great reference point to have for anyone who shoots pre-charged guns. These guns are specific to right-hand or left-hand shooters. You have a raised cheek piece that comes to a point, so if you are a left-handed shooter, you can be accommodated. You just have to order the rifle specifically in left hand. Along with a stock that's flipped, you also have a bolt then that is on the other side. But in the right hand, it shoulders very comfortably. You have a nice rubber piece right here that's the butt stock that makes it easy to shoulder. And like I said, it is the simplicity is what makes this gun awesome. It's lightweight, easy to shoulder, easy to shoot off hands, easy to put a sling on and carry around all day. Lots of versatility with this gun. And that really is one of the reasons that it's been around so long is because it is a timeless design. They shoot great. It'll just never go out of style. On that nice walnut stock that you have, you'll notice that it does have some nice checkering right here and R right in there for Regal. The checkering is done so well, very sharp lines that mesh well with the natural grain pattern in the wood. 
The stippling is positioned in a way that it gives you good friction and great grip on the gun when shouldered. In the world of air gunning, I've always thought of the Daystate Regal as just kind of your standard Ruger 1022. It's lightweight, it's very straightforward, not adjustable power, everything on it is right here in front of you, but it is built very well, it'll never give you problems, and it'll always be on target. So it's kind of the go-to gun for someone who just wants to pull an air gun off the shelf, put their crosshairs on something, squeeze the trigger, it's always gonna be on, very reliable, been around forever and not going anywhere kind of gun. The Daystate Regal, just like all Daystate rifles, does come with a three-year manufacturer's warranty. Air Guns of Arizona is the warranty center in the United States, so we would stand behind all Daystate product for three years. All right, so now that we've highlighted the features that this gun has to offer, we're gonna put some air in it, we're gonna take it to 20, shoot for accuracy as well as crunch some numbers, and then go out to 50 and really stretch the legs out on it. So let's stop talking about it, get down to the range and start doing it. First, we're gonna load the Daystate 10 shot rotary style magazine. And just like the gun, the beauty of this is in the simplicity. It's a drum style magazine with a cutout right here. That's where your pellet's gonna load head first, push it in with your finger, and then you rotate the whole thing counterclockwise until it clicks. Once you've done that 10 times, you'll have a full magazine, but it is as simple as that. We're gonna test the accuracy of this gun by unloading an entire 10 shot magazine at our target downrange at 20 yards. Okay, so there is an entire magazine, all 10 shots at 20 yards, and granted we're indoors, but it gives you the idea that the gun is gonna be incredibly accurate, hold tight groups as long as you do your part. So we filled the gun to a 220 bar fill. We've loaded the magazine with 21 grain Barracudas. We're gonna shoot it, get a full shot string, tell you how many shots it gets, and then calculate the foot-pounds off of that. So let's get to it. You'll notice that you get a total of 45 shots, the high being 800 feet per second and the low being 767 foot per second, with an average of 788 feet per second. If you calculate that on the 21 grain H&N Barracudas, it comes to right at 29 foot pounds of energy, which is what you'd expect out of a 30 foot pound gun on average. So considering the air tube size on this rifle, 45 is a great number in terms of shots per fill. You get a very sleek, mobile gun with a very high shot count. Since Daystate is a title sponsor of our Arconic Classic giveaway, we figured it would be very fitting to use a Daystate rifle to fill out the sweepstakes card. So I'm gonna punch some holes in that, drop it in the mail, and hope that I win. <laughs> Let's see what happens. First name. Pellet. Hole. All right, so the information might be a little repetitive, but I think they'll know who it's coming from. If you're interested in learning more about the Arconic giveaway or just have questions in general, feel free to call Air Guns of Arizona for more information. We have the Regal outside at our 50 yard range. So we've loaded the magazine with Daystate Sovereign pellets, then we'll see what size group we get. There's five down range, feels good. Let's get down there and take a closer look. This is 50 yards and five shots. We brought our trusty dime out here as our unit of measure. There's no group left to be seen once it's covered up. So at 50 yards, very repeatable, great for hunting, great for any kind of sporting shooting, all around classic, easy to shoot rifle. Okay, there you have it, the Daystate Regal XL. The beauty is in the simplicity on this gun. It's lightweight. As you saw at 20 yards, we can keep all 10 shots and basically one ragged hole. At 50, we could keep everything under a dime-sized group and then couple that with the 30 foot-pounds it averages, 
45 shots per fill. There's just a list of pros for this gun. It would make a rifle like this ideal for any kind of pre-charge shooting scenario you can think of. That's gonna do it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Be sure to follow all of our other YouTube videos and join us on Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date all things Air Guns of Arizona. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching.